So the Learning for Action program is a 12 week program that is designed to give you a complete landscape overview of what's happening in climate. We deep dive into some of the sectors. We pick up energy, agriculture, buildings, and other areas. And then we finally wrap it up with a deeper understanding of climate communications and psychology. And all through the entire process, you can decide which of these sectors or topics you are more interested in and use the assignments and your group work to go deeper into them. The Learning for Action program is a 12-week online program that is a combination of synchronous and asynchronous elements. So the way we have designed it is that every week, two classes get unlocked. And a class is basically a bunch of reading material and watching video watching material and research papers and assignments that we have put together for you. Uh, and you're also broken up into a group of 20 people each at a time. And each group has what we call a climate coach or an instructor. They are typically a PhD from one of the environmental scientists from a top-notch university. And their job is to help you get unblocked in your climate learning. So every week you meet with your entire group for what is called a lab group where you can discuss all kinds of uh, things that you're learning. Then we also have experts come in every week to talk about uh, a topic that uh, you're studying that um, specific week. And finally, we have uh, a network of about 100 mentors who are uh, 10 plus years in their climate journey. And you can set up one on one time with them to discuss both what you're learning, uh, uh, the specific areas that you want to go deeper into, and even uh, job prospects or work prospects in that field. So we've designed the program for working professionals. What that means is that this is an intense program, uh, but it is designed in such a way that you can squeeze in the hours that would be required throughout your working day or over the weekend, whichever you prefer. Our expectation is that you'll have a minimum of 10 hours to be able to devote to this program. And uh, there are often times when you will need to go deeper because of a topic that interests you. And that could mean that you're spending maybe 14 to 15 hours that week on that particular topic. So all the scholarships are entirely finan uh, financial need based. And uh, in our application process, you can very explicitly tell us what your specific conditions are and what is the minimum aid that you would need to be able to make this program work. And we'll try our best at our, uh, at our end to make that happen. Terra's mission is to get 100 million people into climate work over the next 10 years. And that's because climate touches every single aspect of what we do on this planet. It touches energy, agriculture, manufacturing, transportation, and uh, many other sectors that you can imagine. And that's why it requires innovators, it requires engineers, it requires financiers, it requires activists, farmers, uh, oil and gas executives even, uh, and many more. So we need all of these individuals to be able to find the skill that they're already good at and apply it to a climate problem that we would expose to you during this program. Terra has tried to create an ecosystem, which is a combination of mentors in this program, climate companies and organizations that we interface with, so that you have a very good visibility into what's happening uh, in terms of jobs at the end of the program. Our employers are in uh, 25 different countries, just like our fellows are. Uh, a big part of them are in the US and in India. And we do a bunch of different things that allows you to find a job in this space. Then we also conduct a job fair, which allows employers, both for, for profits and nonprofits from all across the world, to look at uh, the backgrounds that Terra fellows have. We have a career services team that uh, spends time with you one-on-one -on -one to understand where your uh, transition path is. Uh, we also have the mentorship program that I mentioned that allows you to have those discussions with individuals who are already in the field. We devote the last week of the program to uh, helping you chart out that path. So you create a work plan uh, in partnership with your uh, climate instructor. Uh, that, that uh, talks about how you're going to find uh, uh, different work opportunities in this space. We have seen a lot of different uh, uh, variations of, uh, of fellows moving on to interesting climate work. They range from individuals who have found new jobs. So, for example, someone who used to work as a software engineer at a fintech company is now working at a 
uh, urban sustainability company uh, in in the US. Another example is someone who was VP of sales at an, at an online internet company is now uh, heading sales at an, uh, a climate enterprise software company. So we've had uh, many examples of individuals who made these transitions, and they choose from anything from finding a new job to starting a new organization to sometimes bringing this climate perspective into the job that they already do right now. I personally feel that the mentorship program is one of the uh, most interesting aspects of the Terra program and the Terra network. So these are 100 plus individuals who are roughly 10 plus years in their climate work already. And they range from individuals who are working as climate investors to working at think tanks like Rocky Mountain Institute or working at nonprofits. Um, and not just in the US or India, but all across the world. And I think the beauty, the beauty of this program is that uh, these mentors are here because they want to support your transition into climate work, which means that you can set up a one-on-one -on -one time with them at any point in time and have these very uh, intimate and, 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 and deep discussions about the path that you are choosing to take. And uh, we've found that individuals have uh, either found jobs with sometimes with mentors projects that these mentors are working on and started collaborating with them or even considering starting companies with them. So I think this is a resource that I would really recommend you leverage to the hilt uh, when you're part of the program.